Welcome back to our series on what a business leader needs to know about technology and cybersecurity. Today, we're going to discuss the three states of all of the data in your organization and why you need to understand these three principles. If you get these three principles under your belt, your IT and cybersecurity folks will give you a pat on the back and say, good job. And won't that make you just feel all warm and fuzzy on the inside? Hey everyone, I'm John with The Business Samurai. I've got over 20 years of experience in the technology and cybersecurity field. I've run multi-million dollar projects, served over 100 clients in a wide variety of industries, uh, including some in the nine to 10 figure range. I've not seen everything, but I've seen a lot. And if you'd like to see more of these tech-related educational videos explaining technology and cybersecurity in business value-added terms that the layman can understand, just tell me out down below. Now let's jump into it. Number one, data at rest. No, this isn't nap time for you, but for your data, it probably is. Simply put, this is all the information that you have stored up that is not being worked on by you or anyone else. It's just sitting there doing nothing. Think about, and this is something I can go back to my uh, admin days. Think about all those documents, Excel, and all that old email from 2003 that you just can't keep getting rid of. And it's just taking up space. And if you were in IT, you may have been spending a lot of time burning old email to CDs to never be looked at again. What a waste of time and definitely shows you how old I am. That data just sitting there, not doing anything, taking up space that you're never gonna look up again. That's an example of data at rest. Number two, data in use. This is exactly as it sounds. This is the data that is currently being worked on. This is currently being accessed. The word document open on your screen, you're, you're writing the next great novel. The accounting department that has QuickBooks open, that you know they're, they're working on cutting bonus checks to the entire company without your approval and they've got one even coming to me. That is data that is currently in use. Anything actively being worked on is considered in use. Number three, data in transit. Again, exactly as it sounds. This is your word document going from point A to point B. User, you know, who your intended target is. And, and we've talked about the integrity aspect of that data in another video. That can be sending it via email. You could upload uh, a document or a picture to a website, or you know, how I uploaded, uh, you know, transmitted this video to YouTube for you to watch. Uh, retrieving data across your company VPN. That's the data in transit. Now, if you find those three principles super simple to understand and it, and it makes sense, now you understand the three, the three forms the data can take, just drop data in the comments below. Now, why is this important and how to engage with your tech team or your cyber team, depending on how you make up? Why is this so important for you as a business leader to understand? And this is the part that's going to make you seem super smart and make you seem like you take a vested interest in the technology without having to use the term triple days. You want to use the terms data at rest, data in use, and data at transit. And if you can use those, you're already halfway there to your CISSP certification. But if you simply ask, are all three of those data states being protected and they can verify that, then you're ahead of the game. Most business leaders don't even think about that. They may assume. Assuming is bad. My personal experience through the majority of the companies that I've worked at Encrypting the data at transit, we've gotten pretty good at that. You know, VPNs, SSLs are on websites. You know, that, that was a problem even up to just a few years ago, I was seeing that. Uh, data at rest has been a little bit more hit and miss. I've seen entire customer databases without encryption enabled. And you see these leaks with stuff being in, in plain text. And data in use can be a little bit more challenging but uh, a big thing with this, and we've mentioned it before, is, is limiting the, the rights to the files and, and getting the permissions right sized will actually uh, help a lot with getting that data correct, you know, the data state correct. But as a business leader, you really need to know those three core fundamentals of the data in your company. Data is the lifeblood and most valuable asset you have. It needs to be protected uh, as much as anything. You can replace a phone, you can replace a laptop, destroy data, data that's been leaked or breached. Fixing that's a much, much harder and costly problem. Let me know in the comments, what, what other technical or, or cyber related uh, information do you find confusing from a business perspective? What technical voodoo would you like to be explained in a value added term as it contributes to your business? Or if you're in tech, 
What's the one thing you wish your non-technical manager, your leader, would absolutely understand of what you what you find critical in your job? Let me know in the comments and we'll see if we can break it down Barney style. And if you'd like to know a little bit more, you may find this video kind of up your alley.